Good Monday morning, everyone. Welcome back to Weather on the Go, all your weather coverage. Happy Memorial Day 2023, everyone. In this video, we're going to be doing more of a general overview of the weather forecast from today all the way through the middle of June. With these topics, we will be looking over a heat wave that will be intensifying with record high temperatures possible into early June. More severe weather will be sparking across the Great Plains, including the threat for tornadoes and and then we'll be looking at the long range weather forecast going into the middle of June, including your Father's Day weekend forecast for 2023 later on in today's video. But looking here at today, this is the upper level weather pattern that we are dealing with. And this is more of an Omega block turning to a Rex blocking pattern as we go into today. This is Memorial Day here. And you do see a ridge building over the top across southern Canada here in the northern United States with a couple of troughs down here to the California side and also over here into the Carolinas later on today. We are in a process of turning this pattern around a little bit. We are in an Omega blocking pattern. We are going to be shifting to a Rex blocking pattern and what this means is that we're going to have more of a low pressure dominant southern United States and more of a ridge or high pressure dominant northern United States and southern Canada moving forward throughout the week. So what this looks like is by the middle of the week on Wednesday, May 31st to end the month, we'll see that stronger ridge really take hold across southern, southeastern Canada and the northern United States and one of these troughs, again, may, remaining dominant across the desert southwest, the southern plains and the southeast going into the middle of the week. And this pattern really remains locked in place going in towards next weekend. This is on Friday, June 2nd and you see the ridge intensifies just a little more across Canada into the northern United States with more of the troughing continuing across the desert southwest, the southern plains, and the southeast getting towards that Friday, June 2nd time frame. So what does this mean for our temperatures? Well, we will be warming up. Our first major heat wave of the season will be moving in, especially for the Mississippi Valley. We're seeing more of those upper, uh, you know, 80s getting into the 90s across the Midwest here especially with those 90s down into Arkansas and Louisiana later on today. But the 90 degree line will be pushing farther to the north as we get into the middle of the week. This is on Wednesday, May 31st. Places like eastern Iowa, southwestern and southern Wisconsin, northern Illinois, getting into Missouri here, we'll start to see more of those 90s, even parts of Michigan as well. And then we see that spread a little bit further to the east as that ridge intensifies across Canada. We'll see more of those 90s widespread across the Midwest, the Great Lakes, the Ohio Valley, and even parts of New England as we get to Friday, June 2nd as well to close out the end of the week. Now with these warmer temperatures moving in, we have to watch out for some storm chances. So today we do have a marginal risk in the dark green shaded area here that is a level 1 out of 5 on the scale. So this is of low end severe probabilities, but even these marginal risk days can be more of the gotcha severe weather days as well so you still want to be on high alert if you live into South Dakota, Nebraska Northwestern Iowa and down here into Northwestern Kansas and Northeastern Colorado going through the day today then as we go into Tuesday watching out up here into the Twin Cities region and towards Minnesota, Northwest Wisconsin watch out for some storms that could turn severe on Tuesday. Another more primary area for severe weather like we've seen all the last several days will be down here across Nebraska Nebraska, Western Kansas, getting down, down into the Oklahoma, Texas panhandle, Eastern Colorado, and extreme Northeastern New Mexico on Tuesday. And that is the very area we will continue to see more strong to severe storms closing out the month on Wednesday, May 31st as well. And looking at the total rainfall accumulation now through next weekend, this is through Saturday morning on June 3rd. And you see all the rainfall that will be across the Pacific Northwest, especially into Montana there, getting down through the, uh, the Dakotas, Minnesota, getting down into the Central and Southern Plains. We are high and dry across the Great Lakes, New England. 
England and much of the Midwest and even parts of the Mid-South as well underneath the influence of that ridge. We're not really expecting to see a lot of rainfall and that is concerning looking at the drought status here. This goes all the way through June 9th and we see the drought developing very quickly across southeastern Iowa, northeastern Missouri through central Illinois, central Indiana and southwestern Ohio as we get towards that second week there into June on June 9th. So we will be watching this very area over the next several days as it does start to dry out even more. But if you guys are still with me on the video, be sure to press the thumbs up button down below. It definitely helps out to get all of this weather information out to as many people as possible, and it helps out more than you know. So I appreciate it. And if you are not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to press the subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free to do. And you get these detailed weather breakdowns each and every morning at 9 a.m. Central Daylight Time on this channel. I cover Southern Canada, the United States, and the tropics. So be sure to press the subscribe button. We're quickly approaching 31,000 subscribers on this channel. So I appreciate all the new subscribers and all the old subscribers as well joining me here today. And looking at the longer range guidance, this is the CFS version 2 model. And you see the temperature anomalies going in towards that second week into June. This is June 4th through the 11th time frame. We'll start to see a little bit of a breakdown of the weather pattern and that Rex block as that high pressure builds a little bit further west into western Canada and up here into Alaska. And we have more troughing dominating the lower 48 here from the Great Lakes down through the Central Plains and the desert southwest during that time frame. But we still have a dry influence across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. So not much hope for rainfall, at least through June 11th. There will be a couple of chances of rain into the Midwest and Great Lakes, but they are not great chances, 50-50 at best. Much of the more higher probability of rainfall will be back here into the Pacific Northwest, getting down into the Central Rockies and portions of the Southern Plains and Dixie Alley down here from Louisiana to Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and and Georgia going through the middle of June. Looking at severe weather trends during that period, June 4th through the 11th, a lot of the instability will be building further to the south, the Missouri Valley on southward here toward the Southern Plains and the Gulf Coast. So as a result, my severe weather forecast for June 4th through the 11th does remain the same with possible severe weather across the Central Rockies, getting down to the Central Southern Plains and parts of the Arklatex regions and Dixie Alley as we go through June 11th. A couple of these areas could be experiencing some damaging winds, large hail and even a few tornadoes during that time frame. Now we start to see even more changes going towards the middle of June and as we get into Father's Day weekend this is June 11th through June 18th and you see we have troughs building in across the west those are with the blue anomalies here those are below normal temperatures possible and then we have more of ridging or even some above normal temperatures building across the eastern two thirds of Canada and the United States here including the southern plains now, but we have an active pattern starting to set up across especially the Pacific Northwest here kind of a little bit more muddled across the upper Midwest, kind of a mixed bag between dry weather or even some wetter conditions, and then more of an active pattern down here into the Tennessee Valley and the Southeast as well. And kind of breaking this down a little bit more, the total accumulated precipitation from June 11th through the 18th. Now this is only one model run, so things can change still as it is a couple weeks out, but the active pattern does look to reside up here into British Columbia, Alberta, Southern Saskatchewan, Manitoba, and into Ontario, Canada, and then much of the northern states across Montana, the Dakotas here, Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, and then getting into northern Michigan as well. Dry periods a little bit more down here into the southern plains will be drying out a little bit with the influence of that building ridge and across the lower Ohio Valley with more active weather, maybe more tropical weather trying to develop near the Gulf Coast and the southeast we'll have to watch towards the middle of June. And we have to look at the instability. It will be building up here to the north. I think still this model is overdoing the instability, 
due to the fact that we are beginning to see drought impacts across portions of Iowa, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And I think those areas will have much lower dew points, which will directly affect the instability output here going into the middle of June. But nonetheless, stronger instability will be building further to the north into the Midwest. And this is concerning as this very graphic does show the, yes, a ridge of high pressure will likely build across the eastern two-thirds of the country during that middle of June time frame with more of the airflow clockwise around the high pressure system we do have to watch with the building instability and the stronger jet stream over the top for progressive derechos or an MCS pattern where we have mesoscale convective systems every one to three days in this pattern so I do think with my severe weather forecast from June 11th through the 18th this goes right straight through Father's Day weekend it is possible if you're in this yellow outlined area, we could be seeing some storms and rounds of storms with the convective systems moving through every one to three days. But it is much more likely where we have that across eastern North Dakota, northern Minnesota, northern Wisconsin, the UP of Michigan, getting into Ontario, Canada down here into northern Michigan and even parts of Lake Erie there as well. So we'll continue to watch this as we get closer, but definitely seeing more of a building confidence for storm complexes all up here well to the north across the international border of Canada and the United States in the upper Great Lakes region, but it is still possible a little bit further south, so we'll continue to fine-tune this detail as we get closer. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you want additional weather forecast updates in, in addition to today's video, for this channel, be sure to press press the description down, down below the video and follow me on Twitter at HWeather420. I definitely appreciate it. Otherwise, again, thank you guys so much for joining me here this morning and much appreciated. If you guys like today's video, give it a thumbs up down below. Leave any comments, questions, and concerns below. I'll get to those later on today. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new and hit the notification bell to get all of my daily weather forecast updates on this channel. Have a great Monday. A great Great Memorial Day itself, and I will see you all in the next video.